Welcome back to our UMass softball segment. We're here with our own Mark John Louis and Phil Sanzo. And our and Mark has been at that series this weekend against Florida. <laughs> so he's taking this away. He's gonna give us the whole recap of this weekend. Go ahead, Mark. Fantastic. And if we could just roll that highlight tape right now, really quick. Third game of the weekend series, the Fordham Rams and the UMass Minute Women at Sortino Field Sunday. And it was a comedy of errors in the second inning as you see a pop up by Michelle Dahman. Here's a swing and she hits a high pop up to first base. Bridget Mio's under it. Nope, she got it. Nope, she dropped it. Dope. Everyone's safe over at first base. Let's try this again now. Here's the pitch. Swing and it's a ground ball back to Caroline Raymond. Throws it over to third and whoop, it's in the left field now. Everyone's safe again for the Fordham Rams. Next batter, here's the pitch from Caroline Raymond. Swing and see ya! She orders the grand salami on that one with cheese, peppers, onions, pickles, tomatoes, jalapenos, everything on top of it. Fordham leads it four to nothing. Caroline Raymond not happy with that performance. Strikeout was the word for the UMass bats in this game. Here's Godin at the plate. Swing and whoop! Miss. Nothing there going on that one. Here's Tara Clean now at the plate. And like a bad internet connection, no connection right there. Swings and a miss. The best chance for UMass came in the third inning when Taylor Carbone sent this pitch into right field. Overcomes Knezza, overcomes Dianero. Will she catch it? Will she crash into each other? Nope, it's Knezza who catches the ball. Holds her glove up for everyone to see. Great catch by the Fordham Rams center fielder. And then Bridget Lemire. Can I help you find something? Nope, just looking. As she goes down looking, and that's how Fordham would win this game. They sweep the Minute Women in this series. Fordham takes it 6-0. Well, great job, Mark. You really highlighted that game. I like your little punchlines right there. Um, now I'm going to you, Phil. We just saw that highlight of that game. Yep. We know Fordham had the sweep. We know it's been a tough season for UMass, so who's to blame for this sweep against Fordham? No, because I don't really think there's one specific person you can blame against the, to, from the sweep from Fordham. Really, it, the whole team as a whole is just underperforming, and personally, I don't think they're that bad. They have a lot of talent on this team. Keanu Diaz Patterson's bank 481. That's second in the A-10. Ashton Wentz has a 340 batting average. Tara Klee is batting 279 with six home runs. They have talent, Chris. They really do. Even today, Caroline Raymond just pitched a no-hitter against URI. This team has the potential to be not the best team. They don't have the potential to beat Fordham. They have the potential not to get blown out like they did. In the three games they played, they got blown out 31-7 to in the combined games. They're a lot better than that, Chris. You know what, Phil? You say you see a lot of potential, so I'm going to ask you, what can they do to improve going forward? You know, I think the wins against URI today, well, actually, I think they're in the middle of the second game now, but it looks as if they're going to win. They won the first game today 14 nothing, and I think a win against these bad teams, because URI is not a very good team, the last place in the A-10, I think a win against URI really gives a confidence boost to this team, because that's how, that's how they're going to succeed. They need to take advantage of the really bad teams they play. And it's, that's said for any team that's struggling. If you can take advantage of the bad teams that are worse than you, that's how you're going to build confidence. I think Caroline Raymond getting that no hair today, not giving up any runs, that was really big for her confidence. And I like what they did with the lineup. They moved Tara Klee up to the second hole, and she went three for two, two, two for three today in the first game. They moved her back down to the nine hole. In the second game, she's two for three, and the person they moved up to the second hole in Lindsey Zank is over four. So I think that's a big lineup move that um, they made to improve their, improve their offensive stats. And I think if you switch it up a little bit, you add some urgency. Like not maybe so everyone doesn't have a saved spot on this team. And I think that's important for them. And I think they continue to do that. Maybe they'll find some success down the road. Well, thanks, Phil. It's good to hear they played well today. And uh, I see them really taking this a little maybe domino effect, maybe a couple wins in a row. And hey, the Knicks won last night. So I think anybody can win <laughs> Absolutely. going forward. But all right, guys. Still let that you. one go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, we'll be right back, and we're talking women's lacrosse. Stay tuned.